Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. When it comes to data security, most people think of hackers and hoodies trying to acquire sensitive data. And while this is a very important side of security, there's also a practical side to data security, and that's access control. Access control is what defines the segments of data that internal parties can actually see. And the larger an organization gets, the more important access control becomes. Now, this isn't just because some data is sensitive, like people's salaries, but because data might be completely irrelevant to certain organizational parties. So simply for the benefit of minimizing noise, being able to isolate data through security is a super important function. But the question becomes, where should the definition of this access control occur? If you recall from one of our previous videos that asks, where should logic live? We learned that the answer to that question has massive downstream impacts. When it comes to access control, it can be the difference between enablement or total chaos. In recent years, access control has become a primary stumbling block in large data architectures. Now, let me give you some contextual history to explain why. 20 years ago, data was mostly consumed through one-off business intelligence reporting applications. These systems housed all the complex queries for producing formatted reports. However, organizations began to see that the data itself needed more centralized logic. This was the time where wider adoption of data warehousing came into the picture. Access control still mostly lived in the business intelligence layer, even though the data had been somewhat centralized in a warehouse. In those early years, any consumption of the data outside of the data warehouse and BI layer was often considered as a rogue query. But this all began to change around 2015. This is because cheap storage methods ushered in a centralization of data. In more recent years, cloud data platforms have now made it possible to scalably query these deeply centralized data sets. With all this centralization, organizations need their data to be flexible to an ever-growing number of tools and audiences. This means they can't just tightly couple all the access control into some reports and dashboards and then call it a day. Large organizations may end up having 10 business intelligence tools due to acquisitions and different end user needs. Additionally, they may have dozens of different audiences that interact with the data directly and not through some sanctioned analytics tool. So having access control nested into the BI layer no longer is a proposition that can suit today's large modern data platforms. Instead, security needs to go back into the architecture as an aspect of the data itself. And this doesn't mean the data warehouse, but rather even further back into the base data lake where all the core centralized data resides. This is the only way to ensure that any access to the data can be segmented and relevant to the audience consuming it. Additionally, this makes it possible for any business intelligence, analytics, data science, or reporting layer to plug into the environment and get consistent access based on credentials and do so no matter if they queried the data warehouse or the data lake. Another important reason for setting up these deep access controls is loose coupling. If you recall from our video titled, What is Tight Coupling? The correct practice in any architecture is to loosely couple each component so they're independently upgradable. By housing the security in the data architecture, the analytics tool becomes highly interchangeable without impacting the business. The end result of pushing access control all the way back to the data lake is the ability to serve up every point of data to every user with no concern about the modality of the tool issuing the query. This ultimately is what business stakeholders expect from their data architecture in the first place. But delivering on this is much easier said than done, but it is doable and worth it. The key here is active governance, auditability, and sustainable standards. Administrators need to be highly aware of roles and grants for data segments, which can be tricky for some of these cloud platforms. Now, Intricity has spent a lot of time with this topic as it has implemented hundreds of cloud data architectures for large organizations. 
We recently wrote a white paper diving into some of the critical points that can go wrong with access control titled, How to Botch Your Snowflake Deployment in Three Easy Steps. We've included a link to that white paper in the video description. Also, if you'd like to talk with a specialist about your specific situation, you'll see a link for that as well.